Commercial mango farming is gaining popularity in Kenya, however, as is with most crops, pests and diseases are often a problem that may hinder farmers from getting maximum profits. Henry Ngare is a farmer in Embu County who does not need to worry about pests and diseases. He tells us how he has done it. I've been growing mangoes from 1985. That's the time when I planted the first grafting mangoes in the farm. And we have had a difficult time, especially in controlling the fruit flies in the orchard. And now we are happy because we have been taught how to control the fruit flies, especially using the biological control methods. Like most farmers, Henry was previously using chemical pesticides, which did little to control fruit flies and costed a lot more. When we didn't cover spray of pesticides in the crop, we were using an average of 60 knapsacks per round, and this would take to cover the whole season, we were using an average of 30,000 shillings. But even after doing that heavy spraying, we found that a lot of mangoes were rejected in the market because of presence of uh, fruit fly larvae. And actually we were losing an average of 30% of fruits to the fruit flies. These are the mangoes which were rejected by the market. Sometimes in the farm, they will come and select and what they were leaving behind as infected were just a big loss to the farm. The EC Peril IPM fruit fry program has moved in and trained farmers on the effective use of biological control methods. This is in a bid to cut down on cost of production as well as maximize profits for the farmers. Biological control has a lot of advantages to the farmer because you are using very little uh, have a liter of uh, solution with uh, fungal pores who take care of the farm the whole season and when we have used the metadesium spores we are able to allow other insects to stay in the farm these are predators they will kill the other bad insects in the farm it is cheap the rejection rate of the fruit is actually very encouraging because there is almost no fruit loss because of the fruit price.